And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at something that was said on GB News. Now this was on a show in regards to climate change. As three people, Laurie Laban Langton, Lembe Opic and Donagher McCarthy, clashed over the issue. Where one said, we are at the point where serious coordinated global action is to happen. So I thought we'd have a quick listen because Lembe Opic has said a couple of things that the alarmists, the other two alarmists, and that's what they seem to be, either refuse or don't know how to answer. So I thought we'd have a look at them instead and we'll have a look to see if we can answer. Now, let's have a quick listen to what was said by Lembe Opic. Lembe Opic, the data doesn't lie, the planet is heating up. It's rubbish, what you've said. If you actually look at the history of the uh, human race, uh, we've actually lived through a bit of an ice age. We had nothing to do with that. If you look back about 140 million years, there is no serious relationship between CO2 and ice ages and warmings. I'm sure you've heard of the Milankovitch cycles. I've mentioned them on GB News before. You hear that, everyone? Milankovitch cycle. Remember that? The way the Earth goes around the sun. That's far more significant than CO2. CO2 seems to be a lag factor. More importantly, CO2 is a fertilizer. And CO2, if it goes be below a certain level, will kill us all, around 100, 250 parts per million. We've been dangerously close to that in the past. Look at the reactions from the two on the right, everyone. Let me just make this really simple and not that scientific. This climate emergency is not happening. The biggest concern we should have is the next glaciation. And I'm sure Laurie, and I'm sure Donoghue, who is great to see you again, you understand that we're in an interglacial phase. The big danger for us is the ice sheets coming down again. CO2 is not driving the end of the world. If you believe what you've just said, you have to understand the science. 2,000 years ago, the south of England had a climate the same as the Mediterranean. What caused that? And do you think we can stop it now? Look, if we, we've, let, we've had in these crazy climate kind of, yes, conversations no for decades. All, do you accept it's very clear, that the it's medieval very clear warm the period and the Roman warm period was warmer than it is now? That's a yes-no question. It isn't is. your answer. Do you accept we that it was warmer the than it is now? Actually, for the last that? million years, we have never had this level of CO2 and the, the highest temperature rise we've had in thousands of years. Let's move on to the real debate that we need to be happening is how do we deal with the crisis, not whether we have a crisis or not. Donica, I completely agree with you on a core point there. We haven't had this level of CO2 for a long time. We can argue if it's 11 or 12,000 years ago, but certainly not in the last 2,000 years. Totally agree. We finally found a point of agreement. And yet the Roman warm period was warmer than it is now. So you and I have to agree, obviously, that CO2 is not driving this agenda. What is? Sorry, uh, do we really have to engage in, in, in crackpot science? Yes, we the have to. So there you go. Now, as you were, were aware, highlighted the words Milankovic cycle. So I thought we'd have a look at what that Milankovic cycle is. Before I do though, I'd like to just give you a rundown of who Lembe Opic is. He's a British former politician, a former member of the Liberal Democrats, who was thrown out of the Liberal Democrats for going to a Conservative conference <laughs> that was entitled How to Take Down the Liberal Democrats from the Inside. <laughs> but what he says seems to make sense. I mean, the Milankovic cycle that he described is in regards to slight changes in Earth's movement that affects the planet's climate. The cycles are named after Mulatin Milankovic, a Serbian astrophysicist who began investigating the cause of Earth's ancient ice ages in the 1900s. So there you go. So Milankovic cycles. So we'll have a quick look at what that actually means. And I thought, seeing as how they were crying about needing to see scientific evidence, we'd go to the source and we'd go straight to NASA. <laughs> Global Climate Change NASA site. Milankovitch orbital cycles and their role in Earth's climate. 
Our lives literally revolve around cycles, series of events that are repeated regularly in the same order. These are hundreds of different types of cycles in our world and in the universe. Cycles also play key roles in Earth's short-term weather and long-term climate. A century ago, Serbian scientist Milutin Milankovic, there's that name again, hypothesized the long-term collective effects of changes in Earth's position relative to the sun are a strong driver of Earth's long-term climate and are responsible for triggering the beginning and end of gl glaciation periods, i.e. ice ages, everyone. Now, the cycles include, are we ready for this, the shape of the Earth's orbit, known as eccentricity. Should we have a look at that? Proven, this is what happens to the Earth's orbit throughout the periods of time. Obviously not CO2 related. The next one is the Earth's angle on its axis as it's tilted with respect to Earth's orbital plane. Also known as, are we ready? Obliquity. This is what obliquity looks like. You see, it moves between 22.1 and 24.5 degrees relative to the orbital plane. Same again, NASA. And the last one, the direction Earth's axis of rotation is pointed, known as precession. Let's have a look at what that one looks like. You've heard them say the Earth wobbles. This is what they mean, axial precession. It means it doesn't spin perfectly on its axis. It does actually come off axis. Think of it like a spinning top. You know when you spin a spinning top and it gets to the end when it's starting to slow down and it starts to give that wobble? Same principle for the Earth. So as you can see, even NASA are saying that this Milankovitch was correct because they've not said anywhere in this article that he was completely off the mark. So Lembick was well within his rights to say what he said. He also mentioned something called the Roman Warm Period. Now this was obviously during the Roman occupation of Britain and he said that Britain during the Roman Warm Period was as hot as the Mediterranean. Yep, you heard that right. Here's a graph. Let's have a look at the graph. So as you can see, the Roman Period, quite a large spike in heat and then when we hit the Dark Ages, it dropped significantly. And then the medieval times, it rose again. So as you can see, has nothing to do with man-made CO2, which they claim came from the Industrial Revolution, which was well after that fact. You see what's happened, where, where are we going with this? Now, obviously, I'm no scientist. I'm only going off what have researched. And it seems that Lembit was bang on the money, doesn't it? Now. I'll leave you to make your own de decisions on this, on whether do you think this is right. Have a look into the Milankovic cycle and their effect over climate. NASA's a good place to start. I'll leave, I will leave a link to a couple of these so you can have a look in the description. Go and check them out in, in your own leisure. It's well worth looking into because obviously the alarmist, the other two, had no answer to this whatsoever. No answer whatsoever. Tried to deflect and change the subject quick smart. Well worth looking into everyone. And before I go, I will leave you with the wise words. The wise, wise words of Greta Thunderberg. I know, I know, I'm actually saying for once she said something I agree with. Should we have a look what she said? I think you'll like this one. I say hear, hear. <laughs> Let's have a listen. You can solve your climate crisis of your eyes. You can solve your climate crisis of your eyes. You can shove your climate crisis, you can shove your climate crisis, you can shove your climate crisis up your ass. Perfect ending. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out. Stay sane, everyone. I'll see you on the next one.